The Biden administration is hell-bent on a new nuclear deal with Iran. Whether it gets one or not, war will come. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. One of the most bizarre and dangerous diplomatic initiatives in history is the Biden team's manic determination to cut a new nuclear agreement with Iran's blood-soaked terrorist regime. The seriously flawed 2015 nuclear deal, called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, was scuttled by President Trump in 2018. It had gaping holes in enforcement. It allowed Iran to develop ballistic missiles that could deliver nukes to other countries, including the U.S. It didn't bar the Ayatollahs from their terrorist campaigns and creating and arming proxy armies to subvert Middle Eastern governments that were not to Tehran's liking. It gave the Ayatollahs access to over $100 billion. The money went to finance war and terror. Most critically, it put Iran on a legal glide path to becoming a legal nuclear threshold state, meaning it would be in a position to build nukes any time it wanted. Israel, which Iran's revolutionary regime has vowed to obliterate, repeatedly warned the 2015 negotiators that the agreement they're stitching together would not permanently prevent Iran from developing the bomb. Any doubts about Iran's unshakable long-term nuclear ambitions was wiped out four years ago when Israeli intelligence agents got an extraordinary treasure trove of documents from a Tehran facility that detailed the regime's long-term efforts to build the bomb. Despite all this, the White House is concocting a deal worse than the 2015 version would give the regime access to $275 billion in the next year and $100 trillion by 2030. Sanctions on the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, which controls a large part of the Iranian economy and is currently on our list of terrorist organizations, that would be gutted by a backdoor maneuver, it would allow non-U.S. entities to do business with affiliates of the IRGC. Safeguards to prevent Iran from getting the bomb are non-existent. Given the speed of Iran's efforts, we may well be at a point of no return. Clearly, the Bidenites won't face the ugly truth about Iran, accept it becoming a nuclear power, or take sizable military action to prevent it. In other words, war. In Biden's eyes, the negotiations are a way to put off this choice. Trouble is, the deal being concocted will make Iran immensely stronger and more dangerous. The Ayatollahs believe the Biden administration has no stomach to take out Iran's nuclear facilities. They also think that given the extensive nature today of those facilities, including those deeply buried underground, Israel no longer has the means to mount a successful attack on its own. On Israel, Iran is wrong. With nukes, Iran would pose an existential threat. Israel would fight, and soon, and successfully. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.